Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. Today we're in the laboratory here in Southwest Florida. I'm sorry about the background noise, but uh, I'm in the lab, the hood is running, and I wanted to share some not orchid things with you. Uh, there's orchids being done behind me, but what I want to do is, is share with you some results that I have with a different group of plants. So. Um, over my uh, career, I've worked with a large number of different plants, and these are some plants that I'm going to share with you that, um, th that I, I've really enjoyed working with in the past. So these are, this is uh, a foray, a venture into carnivorous plants. And um, some, I treat the carnivorous plants uh, similarly to the orchids, at least I'm trying this. I haven't cultured these before. These are uh, the penthes. Of ventricosa and I've got some really small seedlings growing uh, in these uh, plates here these were um, the seed was provided to me by a former um, master student in my laboratory so Eric if you're watching these are some results from the seed that you supplied to me um, so all I've done at this point uh, with these is I plated the seed on a, I tried an orchid seed germination medium. It seems to have worked. I've got lots of plants in these plates. All I'm gonna do is transfer to the next medium. So the seed germination medium for, for orchids is a really low salt formulation. And then what I'm gonna do is transfer, I've already done a little bit, I'm gonna transfer it to the replate medium that has a little bit higher uh, salt concentrations and see how they go. Right now, um, this is, again, the Penthes, a this tropical pitcher plant, and the traps, you can barely see the traps on these small seedlings. Uh, the seeds were plated, I got a look on the plate here, um, four months ago, actually five months ago. Um, I'm not sure how fast they germinate when uh, they're just grown on when the seeds are placed on uh, sphagnum moss uh, or, or soil, but uh, here they're, it's just a supplemented medium, so they're growing fairly quickly. Um, I have worked on um, tissue culture and of, of a few different carnivorous plants, and I actually grew uh, carnivorous plants. I actually don't have any now other than, than these, but uh, I've done tissue culture and grown uh, Venus flytrap, sun, sundew, and uh, other other pitcher plants, the uh, the pitcher plants that that actually grow in the uh, in the Midwest. Um, they're very easy uh, to culture. You can even place the cultures on a medium that doesn't have any growth regulators in there, and they continue to proliferate. And like I said, I've done this with uh, with sundew pitcher plants. Uh, and Venus flytraps. Venus flytraps, they're really fun and they're very easy to grow. Um, I obtained some in the laboratory, in my former university laboratory, and just kept them growing with subculture for years and years and years. They're just, they're, they're, they're fun and they're easy to grow. Um, the other thing that I've done that was, that was really interesting, at least for me, is that um, in my old university laboratory, actually about 15 minutes, about 10 miles, there was a bog, and I went to that bog, and it was very, it was very cool uh, to go out there, and you would take the walkway out there, you would, you would go all the way to where the, you know, the, the lake was that was located that was filling in, um, and you go on a walkway through there, and it was very close. And again, it would snow there, it would get freezing, so but and it was really hard to find. But after I figured out where it was, I would go out there. And uh, it was just fascinating to look down and see the sundew and the purple pitcher plants that were growing there. And I took the plant propagator, little story there, I took, I took the plant propagator junior to the bog because she liked plants like me when she was little. Um, I took her to the bog and uh, we were looking through the bog. And you think I'm going to tell the story that the um, that in the bog she felt she walked off the off, got off the, the trail and fell through. But no, what I did is she really liked the purple pitcher plants were flowering and there were some capsules on it. So I took my eye off of her for just a second and she reaches down apparently and snapped off 
one of the one of the seed capsules and said, "Ooh, pretty daddy, look at this." And I, I, uh, I went like that. I, I just said, and I, I looked around to see who was watching us. It's a protected area, and put it in my pocket, brought it back to the laboratory, and I started my culture of purple pitcher plants, and that was a lot of fun uh, for me. Um, anyway, um, I, I, I've always loved uh, carnivorous plants. I've always grown them, either in my collection or in the laboratory. And I just wanted to share with you some, you know, some really early results growing these, um, these, these uh, nepan, nep, <laughs> the nepenthes. I haven't said this in a while. Growing these nepenthes um, in in the laboratory again. They're starting to do well. I'm going to wait for them to get big. I'm going to turn them some of these over to uh, the person that supplied these to me if he needs them. And I may also try adding them to my orchid collection. You see them in the local stores. You see uh, Nepenthes, these plants that are for sale. Uh, they're really, they're, they're beautiful plants. They're really, uh, they're really interesting to grow and, and I've got plenty of them here. So that's all I, I have for you today. I just wanted to share with you my uh, initial venture into these uh, tropical pitcher plants and share with you some of my early results. All right, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to keep on seeing my videos, it would help me out if you click on like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. All right, that's all I have for today. Quick video on these carnivorous plants and happy propagating.